Okay guys, this is the very first checkbook I ever made. I designed it myself. Um, when I designed this one, I um, first drew it up on paper. And then once I had my pattern done, and I, I liked the dimensions and all that, I transferred it to cardboard stock. And there was some design principles that I added into it. I made it completely the pocket longer than the checkbook because when you stamp it, your checkbook changes in size. So when you do stamping and customizing and stuff, so on this one, I put, I figured that out because I put this actually on the wrong side. These are actually supposed to be here. So the checkbook folds this way. Um, but like I said, this was the very first checkbook. The first time I'd ever done basket weaving or any stamping of any sorts. Um, and I was just playing around with learning how to, do the stamping and the stitching and I used really thick stitches and um, I made two checkbooks since then one for my daughter one for my wife and they're a lot better quality but one of the things I did notice about Sundance's checkbook and what's good what I'm going to be calling the Sundance style is the edge where my checkbook should be is the same size as his. So I've already got part of the pattern drawn up. Awesome. So since I have part of the pattern drawn up and I know that the pocket goes, that this side of my pocket, and this is my checkbook pattern one. Um, so I'm just going to draw out that pocket for right now. And then I'm going to go from there. Now that the dog is out, you're probably going to hear him bark every now and then. There's two dogs. But I'm just going to start with my checkbook pattern. So that's the edge that matches up with his edge. Which that makes sense. So I want to get the length of his checkbook completely. So now that I got that... All I have to do is move mine over to that mark. So I just want to make sure it's all squared up and I get this as good as I possibly can. So that's all squared up. So that gives me the, the, front, the front section of this. Now I have to come up with the two inside pockets. So I've already got this one labeled Sundance. We'll call that the back, back panel. Now I want to get this pocket all done up. That inside panel made. Since this will be a left and right flip, all I have to do is make one pattern, but it'll make for both. So. All right, so then let's just take a measurement of that inside pocket. They should be both the same. Make sure that it's... So that's going to be inside pocket. And then we're going to write Sundance on the top. I don't know what I should call my pattern, the one that I actually made for a standard check. All right, so that's the inside. Now I gotta figure out how he does, cause he's got the pen, the pen holder, which is a cool idea. All right, so now that I got the fiber tape measure, I want inch side. All right, so I got that figured out. Now I gotta take in the fact that this is getting stopped and it's not sliding all the way because of where the lacing holes are. So I'm going to find out as far as I possibly can, get that buried inside there. And I want to be careful because I don't want to ruin her checkbook cover. I would not forgive myself for doing that. So I got one and three quarters, but, and that's a quarter of an inch. So that's a two inch piece. I'm going to measure it one more time. 
so I know for sure. I've already got the light here, so I might as well utilize it. So then I know two inches from there. So then I'm gonna mark this as my pen holder. All right, now the other thing, he doesn't have it going all the way to this end or that end, which makes sense because when you take your pen, you don't want your pen sticking out because it only go there. So you want your whole pen buried inside and protected by leather. That's the whole point of the leather piece. So let's find out the length of that then. We're gonna go like this because that's gonna remove the pen holder. Now, I'm just gonna X in this area because I know I don't want that in my pattern. And I don't want this part in my pattern. I've got those sections. Now what I'm going to do, I like his idea, but I use a five to four to five ounce for tooling leather and I can get this looking really nice. So I don't want to shout out his measurements. You know, I just want to make his pattern. And this way I still keep the same length and everything. I want to hold as true to his build as possible. It's really nice having rulers of different sizes because it gets unwieldy using this one all the time when I could be using this one. Um, so that really helps out. And then I have the yardstick one too. All right, so then really look to see, make sure I don't forget anything like a snap or anything. I don't see anything. I got it. All that figured out. He's got a piece of cardboard in there That matches up with that inside protector on both sides the quality is so good with this. It's It just blows my mind. So all right. I, I Think I got his checkbook down now. I think what it's time to do now is since I know that I got his checkbook down for the most part I'm going to cut my pattern out. Once I cut my pattern out, I am going to pick out a piece of leather and I'm going to actually build my friend, coworker, a checkbook according to Sundance's specs. I have them now. Um, and we'll go along for that build. That should be a really cool build. That'll give me two. I have been thinking, I was just going to make, cut out the leather for five checkbooks. And, um, I already know how much that I, I need to charge for my checkbook, my standard checkbook. Um, so... I was going to make five of them for and sell $30 plain, $10 if you want a name on it, and then another $10 if you want, and then, so that'd be $40 if you want your name um, put into it, and then um, starting at that $40 and higher if you want an actual picture carved into it. So that, I, I got that figured out for this checkbook. And actually I was going to do that. So, because I want to do this as a part-time job. This is my part-time, as a part-time job and make money and have fun with it. Um, and I have been having a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to make this. Um, like I said though, I will be, all of this is to get me to the point where I can start charging in for standard checkbooks. I'm, I'm actually going to start selling those guys. Um, 30 bucks for a standard leather checkbook and then if you want your name put into it it's going to be ten dollars more um, and if you want a picture carved into it we're gonna have to talk but it's going to start at the forty dollars and above then after that so that that that's how I'm gonna have to do with that and I've been looking on and that's that's fair market price that's not I'm trying to overcut people or undercut people or 
I mean, I'm making fair market value for a handmade, the best I can make at this point of time. So I'm going to pull out my leather, look at it, and we'll go from there. But I'm going to start making this checkbook for Sundance's Widow. Have a nice one, guys. Thanks for watching these videos. Like and subscribe, and um, we'll see you next week.